Tracy Overstreet from the Hall County Election Office held a news conference on Tuesday morning. The conference detailed the substantial changes taking place for Hall County voters that will be in effect for the May 10th election. Today's Groundhog Day, and I selected this news conference for today because if you watch the Groundhog Day the movie, the movie uh, obviously is a repeat day, day after day after day, same message. And we have the same message that I want everybody to keep in mind for the next 90 days as we head up to the May 10th primary. And that message is that 40% of Hall County voters have a different polling site for 2022. Now is the time to find your polling site, and you can do that through Nebraska Voter Check. Why do we have so much substantial change here for 2022? This is really a direct result from the census numbers that came in for Hall County and it's due to redistricting with new political lines that have been drawn. Um, it's very substantial change and in the coming days, weeks and months, voters are going to hear this repeat message that we'll be sending out that polling places have changed and we want people to get their polling place found now before the election so they're confident where they're going to go. Voters may look up a new polling place either by their name or their residential address. Maps showing the new precinct boundaries are available also online at our Hall County website. We have an address lookup right on the front page. Uh, people can put their address in and it will tell where their new polling place is. Um, physical maps are also on display because I know not everybody has access to a computer. So we have this map here at the Hall County Administration Building. If you live in Grand Island, you can see maps at Grand Island City Hall, at the Grand Island Chamber of Commerce, at the Grand Island Public Library, at the Multicultural Coalition. If you live in Cairo, the Cairo Village Hall has a map. If you live in Adla, you can go to the Adla Village Hall. In Wood River, Wood River City Hall and their community center has a map. If you live in Donovan or in that area, Donovan Village Hall also has a map at their event center. So there's plenty of uh, information available in the community for people to, to be looking now and finding out now where their new polling place is. Resurrection Catholic Church is also one of the several new polling sites was, that was added in because of the substantial growth of Grand Island's population. Other new polling sites include Southern Public Power Offices um, and Abundant Life Church. Some polling places were moved to enhance Americans with disabilities, accessibility, and curbside voting. Uh, First Faith Methodist Church and St. Paul's Lutheran Church were added in for ADA reasons, along with Resurrection Catholic Church. Um, Seedling Mile Elementary will cease to be a polling site out of the interest of school security, and also school traffic has been a problem for voters, so we're making that move to get out of the public schools. Every Hall County voter will also be mailed a new voter card in March. Uh, whether or not there's been a change in their polling place, they're going to get this new card. Uh, we're sending out more than 34,000 postcards to all voters so they'll know their polling place, as well as any changes in political representation, such as a new city council board or a new school board board. That information is also available on Nebraska Voter Check, and it does provide the language options so people will be able to know um, what city council ward, what school board ward they're in. Voters also have the option to request a mail ballot. So if they don't like the polling site, if it's inconvenient, um, you can request a mail ballot, or you can vote early here in this hallway outside of the Hall County Election Office. Early voting will start on April 11th. It will run until the day before the election on May 9th.